fertile river valleys, surrounded by formidable mountain ranges and forests. Thailand has provided bountiful harvests for millennia, which has allowed for large populations. Thailand is home to more than 65 million people, the second largest Buddhist population on earth, and has never been colonized by European powers. Long before the Thai people migrated from southern China into what is now Thailand, city-states and kingdoms arose in this region, though most have been lost to history. From Chinese records, we know that much of this region came under the influence of the Indianized Funan Empire. Although much is not known about them, we do know that they had wide-ranging trading contacts based off of Roman coinage and Indian, Vietnamese, Filipino, and Chinese products found in the excavations of their port cities and trading posts. In 450 AD, the Thawadawadi Kingdom of Lavo established itself as an independent kingdom. To the east, the Chenla emancipated themselves from the Funan rule as well, creating an empire to rival the former. However, they would fall victim to infighting, separating into land and water Chenla. The northern state would rapidly disintegrate into smaller squabbling principalities, while the water Chenla would fall under the domination of Javanese and Sumatran rulers. Out of this chaos, the Khmer emerged as a powerful empire and longtime rival of the Srivijayan Empire, fighting in many wars. Around the middle of the 7th century, the Thai people reached what is now northern Thailand. Centuries before, they had migrated out of southern China, avoiding direct Chinese dynastic rule, slowly making their way ever further south, eventually moving into Khmer and Mon territory. The Khmer called them Siam. In 1238, the Sokutai liberated themselves from the Labo, who in turn were vassals of the Khmer Empire, establishing the first major independent Thai kingdom. In 1292, the Mon Harapachi kingdom was overthrown by the Lana, establishing a second powerful Thai state. Sokutai and Lana were staunch allies, and when Sogutai was overthrown by a rival Thai state within its own borders, Ayutthaya, Lana would become a constant foe of this new kingdom. The city of Ayutthaya was on an island, encircled by three rivers. Due to its defensible location, Ayutthaya became powerful politically and economically in a relatively short amount of time. From its foundation, it was a Buddhist state, in contrast to the Khmer aging and ailing Hindu superpower. In 1448, Sogutai was absorbed into Ayutthaya, or Siam, as it became known in the West, after the establishment of trade with the Portuguese. After which point, Siam became extremely prosperous as an entry point for European goods into Southeast Asia. To the north, the Burmese Empire also rose to prominence during this time period, conquering the Thai Kingdom of Lana, and in 1547, a series of no less than 20 wars known as the Siamese-Burmese Wars, began to unfold between these two arch-rival kingdoms. Siam fell under their control shortly thereafter. However, this did not last long, and Siam quickly re-established itself under his greatest king, Narasuan, who overthrew the Burmese and conquered Lana. The brutal wars between the Burmese and Siam would continue at a grueling pace, and in 1767, the Burmese would sack Ayutthaya, burning it down to the ground. Although the more than 400-year-old capital was reduced to rubble and ash, that was not the end for the Thai. A nobleman of partial Chinese descent, Taksin, would unite a fractured people and drive out the Burmese yet again. In his later years, Taksin, according to some sources, is said to have suffered from megalomania, believing himself divine and demanding to be worshipped. In response, he was overthrown in a coup d'etat. The general that overthrew Taksin established the Chakri dynasty, which still reigns today in Thailand. The Chakri expanded Siam to its greatest extent, and through adept diplomacy and maintaining a formidable military, Siam managed to avoid falling under British or French domination, a fate that befell nearly all of its regional neighbors. The Siamese Revolution of 1932 was a relatively bloodless coup d'etat, with absolute monarchy transitioned to a constitutional monarchy. During the Second World War, Thailand was governed by Field Marshal Palek. In the Franco-Thai War, which the Japanese negotiated an end to, hours after the Japanese attacked the American base at Pearl Harbor, they invaded Thailand, whom had a change of heart and allied with Japan, granting them access through their land to go attack Burma. After the war, Thailand was occupied by Allied forces and became an ally of the U.S. in the Cold War. Thailand gradual democratization has been a turbulent process, and since 2014, 
martial law has been enacted by the ruling military junta, who has promised to enact a new constitution and hold elections in an expeditious manner as possible. And that has been a lightning fast overview of Thailand's history. Let me know in the comments what you think of Marshall Plaque, the current situation in Thailand, what time period or event you find the most interesting in Thai history. This has been Epimetheus, and if you would like to support me making more videos like this, you can do so on Patreon, like this awesome group of people over here on the left. Link in the description. Thank you so much.